Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ross with Stammer.ai and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the lead generation feature where you can extract data from a conversation that an AI agent is having from your dashboard in Stammer to a platform like Go High Level or GHL. And so what this does is it's going to show us how we can create a lead form like this, which will ask the user these questions inside the chat. And if we look at example right here, this is kind of what that might look like where the bot is going to ask the question, the user answers the question, and then this data can then be extracted and then attributed to these values or these custom fields. And so what we can do now is post or paste in a webhook URL. And so this, what, what this is going to do is it's going to collect all of this data and when it has a conversation, it's going to extract, extract the answers and then send the extracted data to this webhook URL. When you are sending this data to this webhook URL, you can then attribute all of that data into custom values that you have created inside GHL. And so the first step is to actually create these custom values. So if you go into your settings and then you go into custom fields, oh, custom fields is what they're called. You go into, you create a folder. And then for example, this example is all about real estate. So you can see in here, I've created a bunch of different fields. These are all text-based fields. So that's going to be the single line option. And then you type in the field name and that's what these different values are. So bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. These are all examples of different data points that this use case for a real estate qualification AI agent needs to know in order to do the qualification step. So when the user submits the information for these values, it's going to be sent to this webhook URL. So this webhook URL is going to be found from the automation section. So if we go in here and create a new workflow, we can click new lead data from an, from AI conversation. And I mean, this is essentially how easy this step is. The first or the, uh, the first action or trigger is going to be an inbound webhook. And this is where we're able to generate this URL. So you can see that this URL, we're going to copy and paste this. We're going to copy it and we're going to then go in here and we're going to paste it into this text box right here. And then we're going to click save. Once this is added, now when somebody goes through this process, all the information that is collected via this sequence will then be sent to this webhook URL. Now, something to note, when dealing with GoHackle GHL specifically, you are required to have one of two contact fields in order for a contact to actually be created via a inbound webhook flow. And those fields are an email address or a phone number. So what that means is if you do not have a email address or a phone number to add when you're creating a contact, when you have this step, this webhook will not be able to create a contact. It won't work. It will be able to see the data and you'll be able to see it in the enrollment history. And it will look something like this. The data will come in and it won't have a contact number or a contact in any sort of information. Now, there are certain ways to get around this by using contact ID. And I mean, there's ways that, uh, for example, when, when a contact comes in via another channel like Instagram or Facebook, it's all done via the contact ID. But you have to ensure that there's a custom value that is associated with each contact when created. And the easiest way to do that to make sure that they're unique is with the email address and phone number. So what that means is when you're creating your lead form inside Stammer, inside your white labeled version of Stammer, we want to make sure that we include one of those two values. So contact number or email address. And so in this example, we're collecting phone number. Now, when you're doing the lead generation process and you have the calendar booking enabled, there's a feature within scheduling that allows you to also schedule or also uh, send this uh, information that you've collected via the lead form in the scheduling information. And because scheduling requires the email address, then you're also now collecting the email address and all these values can then be associated with that email address. Now, I know that might be a little confusing. So in order to simplify this, in order what, what you need to do to make this work is create an inbound webhook. You're going to take this value. You're going to paste it into Stammer right here. You're going to click save. When you start initiating 
a conversation and you complete the conversation by filling out or answering all of the questions in the lead form, all of that data and those answers will then be sent to that webhook URL, at which point you'll be able to see it in this window for mapping reference. So if we click into one of these, we should be able to see the information that I used in that example, like right here. So we can see all of these answers that are associated with the values that we've created in Stammer. Now what we can do is click Save Trigger. And then the next step that we're going to do is create contact, create or update contact. And now what we can do is add fields and then select the custom values or custom fields that we've created in that first step. And you can see that I've already selected or created or added all of those custom fields. And then what I'm going to do is come in here and select and add in the value to associate it with this custom value. So what I could do is select the little uh, icon right there and select inbound webhook trigger. And then inside lead data, we'll be able to see all of the custom values that I've created inside Stammer. And so these are all the same names that the names of the values right here, square underscore footage. We can go over right here, square underscore footage. And so when we highlight or in input that information, for example, contact phone number, that number is now gonna be associated with the contact phone field, which will make this automation now work. And so if we go back out of here, we can see an example of this in a contact ID that was created earlier. And this is an example uh, contact with example information. So you can see this is the example phone number that I gave it. And then this is the information that I answered inside this chat conversation right here let's see five 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 one two two one two three four two five 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 one two two one two three four and then all of my answers are associated and extracted from this chat conversation and now they're inside these custom values so the cool part about this is we can essentially now go from an unstructured piece of data or unstructured content in or unstructured information inside a conversation, extract it and then create and then make it into structured data, which we can then use to do qualification steps. We can use this information to send out notifications to salespeople to then call and follow up with that lead with this information on hand immediately. So that's the value of doing the lead generation step. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks.